This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll explain the different options for syncing clips in a multicam edit. Let's spend time talking about building this multicam clip. We've seen that we could add a camera angle or a camera name. We can also add other metadata in the inspector, but we had to be in the general view to do that. But I blithely skipped over the actual creation of the clip, and here I want to spend some time talking about it. So we'll call this ice dancing. We're going to store it in multicam projects. And I turned off audio synchronization. I want to twirl down now and go to, uh, to the custom settings. Angle assembly. When angle assembly is set to automatic, it goes through this checklist. Is there something in camera angle? If not, is there something in camera name? If not, uh, alphabetize it based on clip name. Or you can say, how do we want the angles organized? And I can pick, for instance, maybe I have metadata in angle and name, and I have a clip name. I can determine which of these is determining the order of the clips. I'm going to say automatic. Audio synchronization is how do we synchronize the clips? Remember, we have to sync them. Why? Let's say I've got four cameras, and each camera has an operator. And I say, okay, guys, it's time to record. And they all wander over to their camera and push the record button. But they are never starting at the same time. So I can't use the beginning of the clip to say this is where everything starts because nobody pushes the record button at the same time. Maybe even one camera is totally unpersoned and the back of the room or up in the rafters and it starts recording an hour before the concert starts. So I've got to have a sync point. The best and fastest sync is to share time code across all the cameras. That's what this Moscow on Ice dance troupe is. It was professionally recorded by Ed Green and his company and they fed timecode to all the cameras. Timecode sync is instantaneous. You can use it based upon the date the content was created. This is the least reliable. It's plus or minus a second. I don't, have never used this. You can use it based upon the start of the first clip. Again, I'm sure its mother loves it. It's an option that I don't use. Or you can synchronize based upon the first marker on the angle or you can synchronize it based upon the audio provided you've recorded audio on all the cameras. Audio on all cameras is the easiest, but it's the slowest. Timecode is the fastest. First marker is just about as fast as timecode. And so with the multicam that I record, I'm using a clapper slate. And the clapper slate allows me to set a marker, and I'll illustrate all of this in just a bit. Then you set your video format. It defaults to whatever the clips are that are selected. Determines the render format. If you're shooting with a camera, ProRes 422 is a perfectly fine render format. And click OK. And notice that quickly, I mean like instantly, my clip is created and I'm ready to start editing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at multicam editing inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 264. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.